PGTube wanted to just post a quick video on a ring alarm system Z-Wave extender hack that I came up with. Uh, it's basically, if you want to run, well, if you have a ring alarm system and you have a plug-in, an AC-powered uh, ring Z-Wave extender for your alarm sensors, and you want to be able to power it off from a USB port or DC, basically DC power, um, this is this is video for you. Um, I I needed to do this because I have an off grid cabin that I have a ring alarm system at that it runs completely off from solar DC power. So uh, I can post another video or ask in the comments about it, and I can tell you how it works. Um, basically, you just have to cut off the cord on that one as well and convert it to DC. Um, so what I did was I just took so these alarm systems or these uh, extenders have a a they, they plug into DC, uh, AC power and if you notice there's two little plugs here that used to be right there that I pulled out um, and then they have a backup battery in there to like so it, it, what I can gather is that the board inside takes the AC power converts it to DC charges this battery and then the battery I believe it's I believe it's that yellow wire there's three wires in there if you can see um, the I believe that we have, because I don't have a wiring diagram for any of this, the battery out power is red, ground is black, and I believe uh, yellow is charge uh, coming from the AC side. So what I did, if you can see down in there, it's very difficult, there's a little white plug that used to be connected on the other end of that battery. All I did was cut off those wires and and basically take the red and the black and I bought this pigtail one of these pigtail USB cables with a two wire out um, uh, from uh, Amazon and I cut it down so because I, I only needed a few inches of probably four inches of, of um, cable then I soldered onto that connector plugged it in then drilled a hole through the bottom of the sensor itself of the housing itself and ran the cable through, sealed it up with a little bit of um, hot glue on both sides because it's going to be a spider-infested, you know, power shed up in and at the, at the cabin. And basically plugged it in, and it works. So instead of getting 3.7 volts out of this battery, it's getting about 5 volts somewhere in that area uh, from the USB power. Uh, it, it, it powers right up. I've had it running for half a day in this situation and it, um, it, it hasn't burned up yet. So usually DC devices will take a range of power, like from three to five or five to eight or some, some, you know, range of, of DC power and they're not fixed like an AC completely. So yeah, I'll probably post a follow-up video as to whether, this thing eventually does burn up. And also, if you look at it, this is, it makes for a very clean install. They have a little uh, screw hole here to hold it into an outlet, but I'm just gonna hang it by that screw and plug it into a device, USB port and power. Um, I'll post a follow up and let you know if it, if it ends up dying long term or how long it lasts. I'll also post in the comments um, or in the uh, description of the USB cable I got off from, from uh, Amazon. So thank you very much. Hope this helps.